the people out there in the dark. Thank you again so much for joining me today, this evening. This is the first day, January the 1st, 2021. In the evening, we all survived 2020, apparently. And uh, I thought I would start the year out with a, a quick little vlog, uh, just to say how thankful I am, one, to have made it to 2021. And thank you to all of you for watching these silly little videos that I put together. I really enjoy them. Um, they're a lot of fun for me. And actually, uh, yesterday, December the 31st, another subscriber joined. So I am up to 24. I am setting the world on fire. And yes, I'm still drinking my old-fashioned Christmas concoction. I really like them. And no, one of my resolutions is not to drink less. I ain't that great. Everybody always makes resolutions, myself included, that they can't keep like the 7.30 for the month they broken. So I try not to do those. Though a number of years ago, I know everybody resolves to eat better and lose some weight. I succeeded in doing that. So I actually weighed myself this morning. 178, not too shabby. Uh, it wasn't too long ago, four or five years ago, I was actually about 230 pounds. So feel a lot better. Uh, it's nice to not be a fatty, I guess. But anyway, uh, one of the reasons I wanted to do this today, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who watches these, mostly, mostly my friends and family, obviously, since there's only 24 people are watching. But to everyone, all 24 of you, and everyone else who may join, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, for those of you that know me, Rest assured that uh, your friendship and um, for those of you in the family, I, I treasure you all in my own way. And I love you all in my own way. I am a better person and continue to try to be a better person because of all of you. Um, just like at the end of all my blogs, um, what do I say? Be kind, be humble, be forgiving, be walk in snow. I say be forgiving, it's not so much forgiving the act, but it's, it's forgiving just so that it doesn't destroy your heart. One of my resolutions, and I guess two resolutions this year, try to be happy. Just happy. And try to be positive. It's not being so sad all the time. Now, I don't mean just walk around through the day like some idiot, you know, with a grin on your face, but I mean actually try to find some joy and try to be positive and see the positive in things. For example, during the pandemic, you know, some of the positives that, that come out of that were all those things in life that we take for granted, like eating in a restaurant, going to Disneyland, not having to wear a mask, socially distance, see your family when you want, do what you want. All of those things in this country that we take for granted, that they're sort of snatched away. Um, you really, you really appreciate those. Now that the vaccine is coming in a few months, hopefully we'll all be vaccinated. I think it will return to some, some sense of normal. I think we'll appreciate those things more. Next time you can go to your favorite restaurant and sit down and have a meal and not have to eat like it is now. Would be a great thing. I think it will teach us all, or hopefully, it will teach us all to appreciate those those little things in life. Um, and for me, I have to work. I have to work a lot harder on accepting the fact that I, uh, I can't control everything. And I'm a control freak. I think I control everything that I can, and not let uh, not let my heart and soul blacken like a piece of halibut on a grill. But anyway, on to other things. So the Dealer Lindsay channel, I have some plans. I, I'd like to do some more things as soon as California opens up a little bit more. There's a few things here locally. I'd like to take you with me on small little adventures. They may be silly. I hope, I hope we can learn something. There's a couple things locally here in the town where I live where I think I can, I can share some interesting historical things that are fun to me 
hopefully they're fun to you. Uh, there's going to be another uh, Disney name tag episode here uh, in another week or so. I've acquired some more of those name tags. Quite frankly, they've become uh, my newest obsession, like typewriters, for those of you that know me. I'm all about typewriters, but these name tags have got a hold of me. But uh, I have a growing collection. I'm, I'm actually quite proud. I've got some rare ones, and a, a few more have arrived. So I'm going to do a part two, maybe even a part three, uh, and create a playlist for that. You probably all have just watched part five of my Disneyland, or excuse me, my Walt Disney World part five visit, which is uh, the Hollywood Studios. I still have to finish up with Epcot. And I actually need to do some more typewriter videos. Uh, I've got several rare ones here that we need to talk about and uh, I want to share with Warren. And yes, we need, to know, we need to do some more adventures of Ryan and Sancho. I just haven't figured out what we're going to do. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not wealthy, so I have to work every day. So that, that work takes up a fair amount of my time. Uh, but I will figure it out. But anyway, enough of me blabbering. I just want to take a moment, wish everybody a happy new year. Here's to 2021. Let's hope that it is fruitful. Let's hope that there's some peace. Let's hope that we get back to some sense of normal. And I look forward to uh, doing some more of these vlogs. I look forward to more people joining. I look forward to your comments. I hope you continue to watch. I know some of them are ridiculous, uh, but they're not. They're whimsical, hence the dealer in whimsy. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, enjoy your weekend. And uh, let's hope that 2021, at a minimum, is like 2019. Anyway, as always, in this world, you can be anything you want to be. Be kind. Just be kind. Be humble, which is hard for all of us, especially you. But it's not always about you. It certainly is never about me. Be forgiving, as I said, it's not forgiving the act. It's just letting stuff go so that your heart doesn't turn into a lagging piece of hell. But more importantly, be melting snow. We've talked about it before. It's never too late to change. It's never too late to have a new attitude. And what better time than the beginning of the year to say, I'm no longer going to be this person. I'm no longer going to have this attitude. I'm going to change. And change takes time and it's hard. If I can do it, you can do it. So, in this world, yeah, be kind, be humble, be forgiving.